Hello, hello, hello. YouTube. I'm live. YouTube stay playing with my emotions. But it's alright. I'm going to keep it trucking. Hello, hello, hello to all my bedside beauties. How's all my bedheads doing today? I hope you're doing grand. I am here. Welcome, 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 family. We are here to Bedside Beauty. I'm excited to be here today. Um, I had a little, you know, a little small snafu earlier today trying to get here because <laughs> Patrice is the only one who would decide to leave work late and got caught up in a presidential um motorcade so you know here we are here we are here we are so today it's a special day as i'm trying to get my shoes off don't mind me y'all i'm like all over the place i just literally just got home so i'm trying to you know zen myself and you know start anew so Welcome to Best Eye Beauty. I come to you today bearing information about wearing red lipstick. I happen to be the self-appointed red lipstick queen. I love red lipstick. It's my favorite kind of lipstick to buy. Is my I own an overabundance of red lipstick. Um, if we're talking about color families, red is my jam. Any of my makeup sis can tell you if it's a red lipstick, I own it. If you know, if you're coming out with a red lipstick, I'm on it. Like, nobody can stop me from buying red lipstick. Like, if there's red lipstick to be had, trust me when I tell you, I'm gonna get it. So, um, so needless to say, I have a good working knowledge about this topic because it's my favorite um, and I'm here to share it with you today so but before we get into the topic of red lipstick so the product does not be no makeup probably more swatching probably more lip swatches than anything else um, I definitely want to show you what I got this week um I did do a little bit of shopping not too much but you know when you're a makeup addict like myself you can't help yourself you just gotta make you do what it do so just FYI shameless plug we are still slinging brushes Patrice has her own brush coming out soon I put the final touches on it it's in production so I'm so excited so we sling and brushes, description up above, down below, what have you. Check it out. I would be forever in your, you know, forever grateful for the support. But this is uh, what we're doing. We're out here slinging brushes. So um, today, this is a basic work phase for me. When I go to work, <laughs> uh, um, for your, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna make it look like you don't have droopy eyelids. That's what we're gonna do. Because that's what all, all makeup is. Makeup is more about tricking the eye to make it seem like it's seeing something else when it's seeing it's going to see the makeup and not your skin. So it's like kind of like pushing your skin back, tricking the eye that it's not seeing what you think it's seeing. So that's what we're going to do. Basically, we're going to play with colors and shadows and everything to make it appear that your eyes are lifted up to Jesus. That's what we're going to do. We're going to be lifted and snatched back and you won't even know anything different <laughs> so 
So that's my friend Andrea. Say hi, Andrea. Um, I'm doing her makeup uh, this weekend, and we're gonna. She's got a performance, and we're gonna play and paint. And so I'm super excited to do her makeup, and maybe, just maybe, I might bring my camera with me, and I might document our transformation. So, I don't know. Maybe she's up to it. We might document the transformation. So, um, I, went, I did a little shopping this week because, you know, that's what I do. How else am I going to keep you up to date on the newest and the brightest and the best if I don't go out and secure the bag? So, I was scooting about Marshalls and I picked up this little brush cleaner mat. I saw it. It was $4.99. And I got it because I'm always looking for, always need these around. Um, I have one in my bathroom. <laughs> After I brushed spa matte thing, couldn't find it. Once I moved, went out and bought this one this weekend. My dad was going through a box and found the mat. So... That's the story of my life. I replace something, I find it well with me. So <laughs> now I have a backup. But I like this one because it's small. So like maybe if I'm doing just a handful of brushes, which is never my life because who am I to actually just like pretend that I only have a few brushes to wash? I always got a bucket of brushes to wash. Um, I picked that up. It was $4.99. You know, generally speaking, they're worth their weight in gold. So if you're looking for like kind of a brush mat to help you cleanse your brush. And basically what you do is you take the, the filthy brush, like one here, and you put some soap on it. I have like those bar soaps, you know, the one I like, the Zout soap. And then I swirl it on the brush, swirl it on to the mat, rinse it, wring it this way so that the water doesn't get into the ferrule. And then you come out with a sparkling clean brush that you can dry laying flat. So, also while I was in Marshalls, I picked up this palette right here. Now this palette is really interesting. This is the BH Cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray palette. And she's a YouTuber. And I have wanted this palette for a long time, but because BH Cosmetics is one of those like discount brands, it had ridiculously expensive shipping. And so, like, it'll, just to get this palette, like, I think it was, like, $17.99 or something like that, I picked it up for the amazing price of $6.99. $6.99. Um, but it was $17, I think it was $17.99 or $24.99, and it, like, was ridiculous shipping. So every time I would, like, say, oh, I'm going to go get it, I'd never get it because I was like, I'm not paying that for shipping. I'm not, I'm not paying it. So... I ended up picking up this one. It's called the It's My Ray Ray Palette. And this is what it looks like. I've always enjoyed this kind of color story from it. And I like it because it has all of these shades, which are really nice for doing makeup looks. And then it has three highlighters, all of which are brown girl friendly. And then it has contour colors down here, which I also enjoy too. So this kind of makes one of those like perfect kind of travel palettes. So you could take this palette. It's very small and complex. Like it's only, I have big hands, but it's the size of my hand. Um, but it's a very compact palette. So like you can slip this in your bag, grab a couple lipsticks, and you can be beautiful and gorgeous all weekend. So... I did pick that this up. Um, in other makeup news, I'm infatuated with the P. Louise bases, and so I had to replace the my Rumor Five because I ran out. Um, and this one is like the closest to my actual skin tone, so all the rest of them are a little lighter than me. But Rumor Five is my skin tone color one. Then she came out with a black one so you know when you're doing your smoky eyes and everything like that you have a black base to do everything with and then she also has a brush that goes with the base so this is kind of like a cut crease brush that you know she advertises on her site but it came as a set so i got the this base and this brush 
together and love that as you know i have all of the colors of this louise base um we've discussed it on previous episodes but hey candy we discussed it on previous episodes but if you didn't know already this is what it is i have this one um, Uh, pink sand and sky pore refining face mask um, I got this Morphe bronzer and romance I think it might be a touch too dark for me but like this is romance this is the bronzer I normally use. So like I say, it's a little on the dark side for me. But we'll see if I can make that work. And then I got some other stuff in there. But they got lost in um, the shuffle. But I do like this bag because what color is it? Team Rose Gold. Woo! So I got that. And then... So then... The so last but not least before we start discussing red lipstick, I picked up my um, my BoxyCharm this month and I got the Luxie box, I mean, or the BoxyCharm Lux, which means that you got um, more full size products. It was a little bit more expensive. It was like 20 bucks more, but you get more full size products. So I got all of the stuff that's in this bag from the Lexi box so so I got the bag and of course it's rose gold it's so pretty it's like kind of an iridescent coppery rose gold so like that and then I got all the stuff that's in this bag so we'll go through it real quick so I got these set of brushes from Moda and they're called the powder and soft glow brushes so this one is meant to apply your powder this one is meant to apply like highlight so I got these two brushes I like them they're pretty nice nice tapered handles they're kind of in between short and long handle brushes so all in all pretty solid um then I got a set of eyelashes from Lily Lash and these are in the style Gia. Um, we all know that I'm not a huge fan of lashes, but you know, here we are. I got some Deborah Lipman um, nail polish, and these are nice, like kind of brown girl friendly nudes, a nude in a shimmer. So those are nice, and. I got this Wander Beauty Lift Off. This is a purifying and brightening peel off mask. So I got this one. Then I got this, um, which is by far the most interesting thing in this box. But this is the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. And what it is, is a cushion. Um, it comes with this brush. It comes like this and it's angled on one side, spooling on the other, and it folds up to fit in the compact. And then inside of here is this cushion that has like a light brown and a darker brown cushion in here so you can draw on your eyebrows. And I thought that was just the cutest and most innovative thing that I've seen in a while. I haven't tried it yet but I am super excited about putting that on my face and then I got this so I'm gonna take one short pause for the cause and do a mini rant so I went online and I sent Ipsy and BoxyCharm a nasty gram I am so sick and tired of getting mauve and rosy tone lipsticks like if I get another 
two of rosy tone lipstick i'm going to murder myself with it i'm going to take it and i'm going to stab my own eyeball out with it like i would love to try this lipstick but i don't need any more rosy tone mauve lipsticks i'm, I'm over it <laughs> i digress but stupid pink rosy tone lipstick actually this one might not be too bad it's like but look at I have this Cover FX palette, and this is called the Perfector Face Palette. And this is the light to medium one, and oops, it comes and it looks like this. It has these two highlighters in it, this one and this one. These are the two highlights. That's them swatched out. Then it has a brightener that's supposed to like I guess brighten under the eyes but or rather brighten the highlight so that's that there so if you want like that kind of day glow look where you highlight and then you want it to like extra sparkle that's the brightener I'm gonna wipe my fingers and then we have this is the blush and this rosy tone this is the contour, which may be a little light on me. Blush. Oh, no, that's the contour. Blush. Yeah, this contour is almost the same color as me. And then that's the blush. And then this is the finishing powder, which kind of is a powder that has, like, kind of a rosy tone to it. Or rather, a shimmery tone to it, like this one. It has a little sparkle in it. But, again, that's a little light. I don't know how much use I'm going to actually get out of that because it's a little dancing on that light side for me. I might not be able to rock with her, um, but we shall see what, you know, what comes out of this. But, um, but yeah, that's it. And then we got a moisturizer. That's called Confidence in a Cream. It's a transforming moisturizing super cream from It Cosmetics. So this is a full size jar. And mind you, all of these products that I got, with the exception of the no, all of the products are full size. So this is a full size cream, and I believe this cream is really expensive. It's like 60 bucks. Um, but I got this and all of the rest of the stuff. And then the last thing I got in this box was the this Morphe palette. And it's called the Night Master Palette, the 15N. And this is what it looks like. So it's a nice neutral palette down here with pops of plum up here. So yeah, it's a nice dark and stormy palette. I like it. Nice and dark and stormy. So all in all... I mean, it's a pretty solid box. I mean, I got definitely got my money's worth. So, I'm not at all upset about that. I really do enjoy BoxyCharm. I find that they're one of my favorites as far as the, um, the boxes go. I do really enjoy them because they give full size products. Products that I probably wouldn't try on my own. So, I'm always, you know here to please so without further ado we're going to jump right into the topic at hand today which is red lipstick so again my spiel i am a self-appointed red lippy queen like i love red lipstick like it is my favorite thing to wear i have an overabundance of red lipstick it is the largest section of my largest part of my um, makeup collection is red lipstick so if somebody wants to know what color red lipstick I am wearing or um, what lipstick color I prefer to wear it's always red always red so um, so typically speaking the way to wear red lipstick is to find your shade and finding your shade can be difficult it's scary because like the first part about wearing red lipstick is not the red lipstick itself you have to have the confidence to carry the red lipstick it's not 
it's always a, you know, eye turner. It's going to attract a lot of attention. Like, it is a powerful color to wear on your lips. So it's all, it's classic, it's eternal. It's always in good taste. So whenever you wear red lipstick, the first thing you need to do is pack confidence because you're going to turn heads in red. The next thing you need to worry about is the finish of the lipstick. Like right now, my lipstick is looking a little like on the satin side because it has a little bit of sheen to it. But earlier today it was matte because I had on matte lipstick. But as the day wears on, matte lipstick can get a little drying, can get a little, can make your lips a little angry. So when you're wearing red lipstick, you definitely definitely have to do good lip prep so if you don't have a good lip kind of regimen then you definitely need to invest in one um you need a scrub and that doesn't have to be something put on your lips scrub off the dead skin oh gosh after you do that you want to rinse your lips off wipe them dry you want to use a good lip balm this one is my favorite. This is the Laneige Sleeping Mask. It is my absolute hands down, holy grail favorite lip balm. So if you're looking for a new one, that one's good. CarMax works just as well if you're on the drugstore route. Um, and then you want to kind of lay that down. The next part of winning with red lipstick is a red lip liner or just the lip liner. And the reason why I say that is because red lipstick is notoriously high maintenance. Like, you can't wear red lipstick and just think you're going to apply it and scoot about the whole day and not pay attention to it. Because if you do not pay attention to red lipstick, you will end up with it on your nose. It will be on your chin. It will be sliding across your cheeks. And you will be out here looking like Ronald McDonald. So, to avoid all that, you definitely got to keep your eye on your red lipstick because it will tell on you it will expose all your secrets it will make you uh, make a liar out of you okay let me tell you hey well um so you definitely gonna need a lip liner now you can use a clear lip liner and do i have my clear lip liner over here or is it i have a clear lip liner but i believe that it's in my kit yeah, I think it's in my kit because I don't see it. But a clear lip liner, lip liner that you're going to put on and it's going to prevent the product itself from sliding off your lips. So if you have a problem with like lines like around your mouth, then you're going to need that clear lip liner to help it stop bleeding into those lines and then making it look messy around your mouth. So I, hands down, would always recommend lip liners from ColourPop. ColourPop make my favorite lip liners. They're not perfect. No, no, no. But they're my favorite. Um, so they make lip liners. All their lip liners are $5. So you're going to be able to, to afford to get you a cute couple of them. And you can get them in all different colors. They have very, very good lip liners. My next favorite company that makes lip liners is, of course, you know, your girl from MAC. MAC makes amazing lip liners. I have a crap ton of them, but they're all in my kit. Because I have my MAC lip liners in my kit. I use ColourPop. So... The third favorite lip liner company that I use is NYX. NYX makes really great lip liners. And, I mean, there's really just nothing else to say. Like, their lip liners are bomb. They come in pencil forms and mechanicals. Um, so, you know, the little twist-up ones. And then they also have the pencil. Oh, that's not the wrong one. Oh, about to sell a pipe dream, but they come in pencils too. So, I love the, these lip liners. Um, I have these ones from Kiko. 
I do like these liners as well. Um, I am a big, a big, huge fan of a creamier lip liner. And the reason why I'm a fan of a creamier lip liner, and I'm going to show you. This, by far, is my favorite red lipstick lip liner. This is Ellery by ColourPop. And the reason why I love it is because it's a darkened burgundy color. So it won't drastically change the color of your red lipstick. But I prefer a bit of contrast when I'm wearing red lipstick because I don't want to look. I have nice plump lips and sometimes red can be really just like red. And so I like to kind of like tone it down a bit with lip liners. So I like this one and... I like this color because that's what it looks like. But the reason why I love ColourPop lip liners is because they do this. And you see how you can just blend it down. It's for the first like couple seconds that you have it on, it's very, very pliable. So you can blend it, fade it, you can shade, you can color, you can move it around. And that is what makes a great lip liner. Even if you do it with a brush, it's going to move. And so I want a lip liner that is not stiff. It's very soft, very creamy. It's going to move when I tell it to move. And that's what I look for in a lip liner. And as you can see, this is about half of what I own from ColourPop as far as lip liners are concerned. Because I really do like them a lot. Um... This one is K. This is my favorite one that I use for nude lipsticks. I use Ellery for all of my reds. I have these other two red lipsticks for the days that I'm like, um, I use Frenchie when I'm doing like more of a orangey red. And I use Bossy if I'm doing like a true red and I just want to have flashy, hot popping red lipstick. I'll use Bossy as a lip liner, and I'll swatch a few of these just to show you. Um, and then I also have these two purple liners, and the reason why, you may be thinking to yourself, like, Patrice, why are you using purple liners? But if I'm doing a deeper red, then I won't use these liners. I'll use a purple, because purple will kind of, like, give you more contrast than the reds will if you're wearing a deeper liner. But we'll get into that in a minute but so like I said this is Ellery so I'll take that one down um, this is K again this is a brown liner but I do like it if I'm going for that kind of look for it and this, this again all of these liners this is preference so there's some of them that you're just gonna have to try this is Frenchie down here and again all of these lip liners move so you can fade them and then this is bossy and that's bossy right there and that's going to be like your true red lip liner see like this one looks orange this is burgundy that's of course brown but all of these lip liners are different and all of them are going to give a different effect now, as far as my purple liners are concerned, this one is leather, and this one is one of those special editions. I don't even know what color it is no more, but here's leather. That's leather. That's leather faded out. And then this is some kind of little burgundy liner. I don't even know. But it's kind of like a wine color. But it's one of my favorite. I'll try to link these down so you can kind of get a sense of what color they are, but these are basically the lip liners that are my go-tos when I'm dealing with my red lipstick. I need to remove this red Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep it on for just a touch, but I do need to clean my fingers off. Um, really? You want to break right now? See, this is why I need staff. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm fine. 
find something to get this off with. Oh well, moving along swiftly and professionally. So, the next thing is, of course, now we're talking, once we get lip liner on, now we're talking red lipstick. So, what kind of red do you want? And there are a couple of families of red. So, we got, you know, your tube lipsticks, which are going to be like your matte lipsticks. Then you're going to have your liquid lipsticks that are going to be like these. Um, so you just kind of have to understand what kind of red you want. So reds come in usually three to four-ish families. So you have your orange base reds, which I for one am not a huge fan of, so I don't own many of them. Scarlet is this. So, um, so this is Scarlet Abyss. This is a, like an orangey red lipstick. So, this one is going to be, it looks orange. <laughs> but see, this is C'est La Vie. C'est La Vie is orange. So, I'll put that right here. So you can see the difference. So you see how this is orange and this one has a bit more red in it. That's the difference between the two. So orangey base reds are um, are a lot of a lot of like darker women, darker than I, tend to lean towards orange base reds. Is it uh, definite that you have to be? Um, darker complected to wear orange base reds absolutely not you can wear any color you want but um that's what you know kind of the old older thinking of that darker people should wear orange base reds mid-tone complected people should wear um brighter reds or more blue base reds and then you have you know your whiny reds which is kind of the flip side of red um which are your darker reds um so i'm gonna attempt to try to go in order but you know i can only do what i i can do so the <laughs> so that is kind of the orangey base red like a true red true blue base red is going to be everybody's cult like favorite ruby woo so ruby woo is going to be a true red lipstick and that's like the gold standard of red lipstick is ruby woo um ruby woo is notoriously drying by this mad mac so it's not my favorite red but I understand why people love it because it is a true blue base red. Um, and then when we get to like a darker red, then we're going to talk about this is Rebel by. Um, is this one too dark? I think that one might be too dark. Uh, this one is kind of the same color. This is one by Pat McGrath. Um, this is her, this one is too, that's too dark. I'm gonna use Rebel. Rebel's a dark red and it's going to be like this. So that's Rebel. So that's gonna be your darker reds. 
um, that had a little bit more purple in them, a little bit more kind of that plummy look to them. But this is Rebel, a darker red. So those are kind of the families of reds that you're going to find when you go in the store. Which one you should try? Try them all on because you never know which one you're actually going to like until you try it on. Sometimes you might have to go home with it, live in it a little bit before you can decide which one you like. But, you know, for the most part, there's always going to be a good red for you. Now, getting into my favorite reds. I have a few because I'm the self-appointed red lippy queen and I wouldn't steer you wrong. So, the one I have on today is this one. It's by Stila. It's called Basos. This is actually a color that was made popular by AOC. Uh, what is that child's name? Um, the new congresswoman. Alicia Ocasio-Cortez. Huh. Huh. AOC. She made this co color like extremely popular. I've owned it for years. I wear it occasionally. It's a comfortable one. This one lasts all day. It's matte. It's a beautiful color. I will swatch it here. So that is a OC's favorite red. Basos. I do have a little lip balm on it. I actually lined it with Ellery today. So this one is Ellery and Basos. So that's what I have on. Another favorite. This is Sephora's number one best-selling lipstick. It is my absolute favorite red lipstick. Hands down. No questions asked. Nine times out of ten, if I'm wearing red lipstick, it is this one. It is Sephora's Always Red. And I'll put that one here. This lip color is so stinking popular. It comes out in like every collection they have. This is... That is Sephora's Always Red. Now, that is my favorite red lipstick of all time. I love that red. Another red lipstick that I'm absolutely in love with, it's discontinued. I have two backups of it, and I love it to death. But this is Chanel Dragon. Um, they discontinued this color many, many moons ago, but I love it so much that I have two backups. And I just dropped that one on the floor. This is by my favorite black-owned company. This is the Lip Bar, and this one is called Boss Lady. This is another great red, but is definitely deeper than all of the ones that I've shown you thus far. This is a very deep blood red color so you want to drip sexiness you want to come in that bedroom and be like I'm on the menu you want boss lady that one is hot fire um, another good red by a black owned company this is Magnolia makeup and this color is called Nola as in New Orleans, where they're from. Now, this is a more of a pinky red. This one is like has a little bit of pink in it, but still a very great red lipstick. Um, another black owned company is smaller. This one is Naveen Cosmetics, and this one is another great red lipstick black on company right there Love it. um the boss lady that is this is by color pop this is a color called Ariba Ariba um but this is like a very like this one is Ariba Ariba this has a bit of orange in it but Ooh, hang out there. But that one is a Reba Reba. Has a bit of orange in it, but it's more of the 
true blue base reds. Um, and then as my hand cramps up, this is by Wet and Wild. This is 910D. I forget the name of this one, but this is gonna be your drugstore red. And that's that one right there. This is the drugstore red. And then I'll end with a dose of colors. Now, I do have the Fenty Red. It's in my car. I ain't going to get it. But this is um, Hot Light Fire. Um, this is definitely, as you can tell by the tube, it leans a little. It has a little bit of pink in it. But that's Hot Light Fire by Dose of Colors. Ooh, it smells so good. Um, but as you can see, all of them are reds, but I love them all for different reasons, which is why, like I say, I'm the self-appointed red lipstick queen. I love red lipstick. You can't stop me from buying red lipstick. I refuse to submit to your treachery about my buying red lipstick. Um, I do have the Aaliyah red lipstick. This one is Hot Light Fire. And this one is, that one's right there. So, yeah. Did I break it? I almost broke it. All right, I almost, Charlotte almost took a tumble. Um, this is a good deep red by, um, they don't make this one anymore. This is actually a, um, a discontinued shade, but this is by Urban Decay. This is Spiderwebs. This is a Gwen Stefani color. This is like her signature shade that they made from. Um, that's this one. This is Spiderwebs. This is made for Gwen Stefani. This is her signature red. So, like I said, I wasn't playing when I told y'all I own a lot of red lipstick. And can I even say for the record that this is not even half of my red lipstick collection because I have again I tried to show you ones that you can find because I have some limited edition reds over there in that tower I have the Wonder Woman red I have the Archie collection red I have the Selena reds I have the Marilyn Monroe entire collection of reds um uh yeah I got plenty red lipstick like if red lipstick was a country, I'd own it. Like, this is like the um, Dare to Wear. This is like a shiny red. Oh, this one's so pretty. That's a red with sheen. That's a red with sheen. Oh, love it. Love it. So, like, I, <laughs> I can pull out red lipstick from here. I can have you here for, like, hours talking about red lipstick because I own a lot of red lipstick like it's not a game i am not here for play play i own a crap ton of red lipstick so my tip to how of course how to win wearing red lipstick is one pack your confidence because you're gonna need it it is what you need to go out here and slay the game you have to like be ready for the attention that red lipstick will bring you. Oh. Um, then the next thing is, is that in order to wear red lipstick, you want to definitely prep your lips. Um, I'm going to go get a wipe to wipe my hand off. And then I'm going to show you how I apply my red lipstick. I'm back. So, all right, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have red, a red hand for the foreseeable future until I get to some soap and water. But, uh, and some of the, like, and red stains. So, just in case. You didn't know. 
red can be very staining on the lips. So. So what, what kind of, what red would you like to see me put on right now? You want me to put on like an iconic Ruby Woo? You want to see one of the um, black owned reds? Which one? You want to see the Sephora Always Red, which is my favorite one, or what you want to see? Oh, and then after you put on red lipstick, it's always good to follow up with like concealer or foundation to clean up the lines or, or makeup wipe. Because if you draw outside the lines, you want to get red lipstick as perfect as possible. Okay. So, any suggestions on what color you would like to see? Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, all right, going once, going twice, just going to throw on one. All right, no takers. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on Sephora's Always Red, my favorite one. And then I'm going to use it with um, Ellery's lip liner and um, and the and ColourPop. Oh, you want to see lip bar? Okay, lip bar. All right. So I'm still going to use Ellery's lip liner with the this one. So, so what I like to do is I like to draw the outline of my mouth as neat as possible. Draw it in. Okay, so I draw just around my mouth. Then I like to feather in the corners like that. And then I take my lips and I rub them together. And this is when having a really movable lip liner <laughs> is helpful because you see how I come and then I go back and I um I stay inside because I'm not trying to make my lips look bigger so I stay inside the line but if you want to if your lips like your top lips a little smaller or your bottom lips a little small feel free to draw you draw you on some lips Kylie did it she made a whole billion dollar um, business drawing in extra lips and getting lip fillers yeah so then I go back I do a little bit more blending just to make sure there's no lines of demarcation. So, some people would do this, slap on some lip gloss and go on about their business. There's no right or wrong way to do this. If this is what you like and this is what you love, go on about your business. So, but I like to then go over it with lipstick and I draw over the lip liner and then fill in. So, so see how this one is deeper than the one I had on earlier today. Doesn't change it, but this is like a deep, like sexy red. Like this is your nighttime red. This is when you want to go see your boo. This is one that you, when you're trying to serve fish, 
tuna fish. That's the lipstick you put on. You just go in there. You just. And you like pose in the doorway. Let them know what's on the menu. Anywho, like, um, <laughs> but this is the right lipstick that you wear. See? And this one gets really matte. So, this one is very important when you're wearing the lip bar one. Make sure you put something under it because it gets drying quick. It's not like uncomfortable drying, but it dries down. And like, see? It's dry. Completely dry. So, you have a completely matte lip. Now, if you wanted to add like a little shine, you could take like something like this Fenty Gloss Balm. And you don't want to apply it directly from the wand because it'll stain it. But then you add like a little bit to the middle. Bop, bop, bop. Give it a minute to let it rest. Then that's going to make it look more satin, more wet. But it makes it more comfortable to wear. So you're then now got some comfortable lipstick on. You don't have to like fight nobody in the face. So... That's that. So that's like a deeper red. Um, then I'll show you my. Ooh. Now I can pretty. I've been drawing on my own lips for many, many moons, so I can stay in the lines. But if you have any problems, take you an angle brush, take you a smaller detail brush, and clean up around the lines. Take you a wet wipe. You know, get your finger like this in it. Get that line right there. Get the clean it up just like that. Doesn't matter how you do it, but you want to make sure that you kind of clean up your lines when you can. So, I'm going to take a little lip balm because we're not trying to be out here losing good, godly moisture on the lips. You know, somebody might want to kiss me later. So, now we're going to try... Um, always red, but I'm going to show you a technique that I do when I'm trying to keep my red lipstick on for longer. So, so this red lipstick, I'm going to use the Frenchie pencil. So, what you do is you go in and if you have like a lipstick that's not long lasting and you're unsure if it's going to stay on all day, this is a trick that I use to keep it on. So, so go around the lip line, per use. Okay, go around the lip line like usual. No huff, must, no fuss. And then fill in the lip with the red. Lip pencil. Just go ahead and fill it all the way in with the pencil. So, now we're completely filled in. Then you'll take a lipstick like my Sephora Always Red lipstick. And go over top of it. Now we have on 
Sephora Always Wear. This is like one of my like favorite red lipsticks of all time. Like this is the number one selling red lipstick at Sephora. It's universally flattering. I don't know a single person that it doesn't look good on. Like it's a legit great color. And it's really like just truly a blue base red. So. And like I was saying before about cleaning up the lip line. You just want to take like a little brush. Any kind of brush. I'm going to take my little flesh stick. A little brush. And. Get. Right under here. Clean up the lip line. Any place that it's any place that is like out of control. You want to sharpen up. And then there you go. You got sharp, clean red lipstick. You ain't got work. Can't nobody tell you nothing when you have this red lipstick. This is boss red lipstick. This is when you go in the tail. Everybody go to hell and they can't do nothing about it. Yep. This is great. Bossy red lipstick. So yeah, this is not that's hands down favorite red lipstick. And last but not least, I'll show you a darker red. Since we out here swatching, <laughs> yeah, that's a go to hell bossy red. Like, all right, see, this is the things I do for my channel. I'm out here wrecking my lips right now because, um. These liquid lipsticks ain't for the faint at heart, like. <laughs> but I'm gonna put my little, my little sleeping mask on. Try to replenish some of this moisture. And I'm going to try. What am I gonna put on? What am I gonna put on? Um, I guess I'll do Rebel as the the deep red. Or do you want to see like a dark deep red? I do have this Pat McGrath red. This is blood. This is blood. That other one that I had. I'm out here in these streets. Oh, here it is. Well, if it's a snake, it would have bit me. Because I have blood one, and this is blood. That's blood two. So this is one, that's two. Blood one, blood two. It's all right, hey guys. Um. So yeah, blood one, blood two. So that's the reds and then I have rebel. Which is that one, that's rebel. So which one? And then I'll show you how I use it with a purple liner. All right, so got one for rubber, one for blood, one. So who gonna break the tie? Blood one, blood two, blood one, blood two, rebel. What we gonna do? But I'm gonna use a purple liner, so. I'll start lining my lips. Y'all make up your mind. Ma, 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 ma. So. Alright. Rebel it is. 
So this is our purple liner. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did the first time. Which is peel my lips in like so. Fade the corners. like that. Then I'm going to blot my lips together to move product around till it blend it. refresh any spots that look a little bald and then you take your lipstick this is rubble and uh, there you go and you see how rubble with this purple liner it gives it that like kind of that blood red look this is very dark, very vampy. This is your fall time. I'm here to scare and slay red lipstick. Like, this is here comes fall. I'm here to do the daggone thing. Fall time swag. So, that's the red. And see, and with the purple, it gives enough contrast. It brings out those kind of plum notes in the deeper red so that you can you know really see it it gives it something to bounce off of and then as the day goes on this will wear lighter will you start to see more red kind of come out of it so it's not going to stay this color like deep and dark but as the day wears on as you live in it a little bit you'll start to see a little bit more red poke out in this one so but again these are all li liquid lipsticks so they tend to be a little bit more drying tend to be a little bit more of a hassle but then you can you know do something like this is the Fenty Gloss Bomb rub dab on a little um, try not to get it on your teeth And then that gave us a little bit more moisture. But that's the simulation of what it would be like to go throughout the day. Botting it off to see how it lightens up and it turns into like you see more of the red kind of poking through. So as you wear it, as you live in it, as you talk, it will lighten up and it will give you kind of that like whiny stained red lipstick. You'll start off, you know, being full goth, almost vamp. And then you'll kind of like ease into this like, you know, we sipping wine, we doing the damn thing red. So, this is Rubble. Now, Mac makes a Rebel, and a couple of other people make Rebels. Um, they're all kind of these same, like, you know, deep red wine colors. So, ooh. See, this lived in makeup, so now my eyelashes want to um, poke me in the eye. It's not fair. But, um, so yeah, these are the kinds of, you know, lipsticks that... Um, I enjoy especially in the, the fall winter months I'm all about a dark vampy red um, NYX has a really cool one it's called Copenhagen really beautiful um, their soft matte lip creams are amazing I just don't have any right now but I have owned them over the years um, Copenhagen is a good one um, if I find some of the colors uh, that I like I'll list them in the description after I finish 
Um, but yeah, those are just kind of like some of the reds that I like. But if you're looking for like a drugstore one, Wet n Wild makes really nice red lipstick. And um, I like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. They're really, they're comparable to the MAC Always Reds. Um, but I just prefer the, um, I prefer MAC Always Red to the Soft Matte Lip Creams. But they're still very, very nice. So, I'm at 67 minutes. I'm at my hour time range. I showed you my haul. I showed you how to wear red lipstick and slay. Recapping. First things first, confidence. You need confidence to wear red lipstick. It's going to draw attention. It's going to, you know, make you look fabulous and fly and out here, you know, looking like a whole meal. No snack. Whole meal. So, when you wear red lipstick, you definitely, definitely, definitely want to have pack your confidence. Number two rules for slaying in red lipstick is lip liners. You need them. They're your friends. Don't leave home without them. You need a lip liner. Whether you like contrast, whether you want it to match the lipsticks exactly, you're going to need a lip liner. Then, the last and final step is picking a red. Orange-based reds, blue-based reds, pink-based reds, plum-based reds. There's a red for you out there. Do not give up. Just try them. Wear them. Go to Sephora. Pack some patience. Try on a red lipstick until you find one that you think you look great in. Good thing about Sephora, they have an excellent return policy. If you take it home, you don't love it, take it back, try again. It, you know, doesn't get any easier than that. Then, last but not least, is keep an eye on your red lipstick. Trust me, I have been there. I have been out in the street thinking that I'm slaying the game. I'm looking like... <laughs> But now nobody talked to me. I am fabulous and fly. I'm looking like I am out here looking sickening. And then I turn to somebody's mirror and I got red lipstick on my nose or my chin. Or just up in this area looking a lot like, you know, Joker from Batman and a less like Marilyn Monroe out here looking like, you know. You know, diamonds are a girl's best friend. So if you don't, if you want to look a little bit less like Joker and a little bit more like Marilyn, then keep an eye on your red lipstick. Pack a mirror. Reapply if necessary. Red lipstick is extremely, extremely high maintenance. So no matter what kind you're wearing, you need to keep an eye on it because you will look crazy up in here. You will look like Joker. And not a cute one either. <laughs> so, but then after that, you know, when you freshly apply your lipstick, take a few, you know, pictures, you know, snap, snap. You know, join the Red Lippy fam. I'm like, we are always taking new members. Um, I am a self-appointed red lipstick queen. Um, yes, self-appointed. I love red lipstick. I've shown you at least 20 red lipsticks and that's not even half the battle. One day, I'm going to pull them all out and lay them out and, like, take a picture of them, like, just surrounded by my kingdom of, my small kingdom of red lipstick. <laughs> but, nonetheless, I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I know I didn't do any makeup, like, you know, whole face makeup, but I wanted to kind of focus on doing, going back to basics, talking about red lipstick, because that is a passion of mine. And I want to make sure that y'all out here slaying with red lipstick. Because I had someone tell me yes, just yesterday, I haven't found a red lipstick that I like. I'm like, <gasps> what is wrong with you? But out of all of these red lipsticks that are laying here in front of me, if I was going to suggest a red lipstick to somebody, it would always be, oh, Lord, that, oh, God, oh, Lord Jesus. It would always be for lights. I mean, for a blue base red, it's always Sephora, always red. For a deeper red, always Boss Lady. And for a 
brighter, lighter red, always Mac Ruby Woo. Those are going to be my three. And honorable mention, Fenty Uncensored. That damn red lipstick is a killer. Okay, let me tell you. I love that one. I just don't have it with me right now because it's in my car. But um, it fell out of my purse. It's in the car. I didn't realize it was in the car till I'm like in here, you know, making movie star magic. So <laughs> this is why you need staff members. See, if I had a staff member, I could just go send them errand boy. Go get my lipstick out the car. But alas, the Lord has not blessed me with staff members yet. But you know, hell don't last always. You know, my staff is coming. I know it. I feel it in my spirit that my staff is coming. So, without further ado, I won't keep you all night, but we are still slinging brushes. Shameless plug. And I am um, happy that um, I'll be going to IMAX in a couple weeks to go do that and then I'll be on the road because I just got accepted to a new leadership program at work. So I'll be on the road out here, you know, showing this beautiful mug to the world and learning about how to be a better leader so I can, you know, continue to um, finance my habits of buying copious amounts of makeup. Most of which is red lipstick. So, again, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who wished me a congratulations on my new job, being accepted to the job program. I start Monday. Um, I go on my first trip on April 8th. So, it's, you know, it's quick and dirty. Like, they just like, oh, you in this program? <laughs> you don't get no time off. <laughs> we expect you to start on Monday. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go jump in head first. I will make sure I do everybody proud and I will definitely keep Bedside Beauty on my mind and I will definitely not stop doing bed, uh, start doing uh, uh, Lord Jesus, I'm not, I have a brain fart. Um, <laughs> I am going to definitely do still do be doing Best Side Beauty. And I'm gonna do an episode of Best Side Beauty in New York while I'm at IMAX. I'm gonna try to do an episode while I am just around makeup and you know, might be just exploring stuff. But nonetheless, I'm gonna be around, but I'm gonna be out and about. So love you guys dearly. Um, Bernard, to answer your question, is um, it's a leadership program. Um, it's not the SDS leadership program, but it's the step below it. So, do this one, knock it out of the box. Then I'm going straight for SES. By the time I'm 40, I will be SES. You heard it here first. Bam. So, um, <laughs> oh, you can hear my um, the, the tea kettle in and my dad in there making tea. But anywho. I'll check y'all fine people later. Thank you for turning in the Bedside Beauty. I love y'all. Check you later. Bye.